So the first thing we're gonna do is make the turkey meatballs. So here I have some ground turkey and all of the measurements that I use will be in the description box below. I'm gonna add one egg, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of granulated onion powder. You could do fresh if you want. Sometimes I just think that the dried is even stronger and nicer, and I like that. Three tablespoons of grated cheese. I am using Pecorino Romano. Two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. You could use either fresh breadcrumbs or dried breadcrumbs. Today I'm using dried and salt and pepper to taste. And of course you give this a nice mix until everything is evenly combined. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is I am going to saute my onions and my garlic. So this is one tablespoon of garlic. And I'm doing this in <clears throat> a pan first just because I'm gonna transfer it to the pot with the liquid already in it, but you could certainly just do this directly into the pot. Okay, and this is one pretty large onion diced. Okay, so I'm just going to let these go for maybe about two or three minutes and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to add my carrots and celery. This is about half a cup of carrot and a half a cup of celery. And I just want to sweat these. I'm not caramelizing them or anything like that. I just want to draw some of the moisture out and just get them started to cook because they're going to go into the soup. All right, <clears throat> so here I have about 10 cups of stock. This is fresh chicken stock that my husband made. Um, you can use vegetable stock, you can use water, but if you use water, I would just say maybe add some more seasoning or add a bouillon cube. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my vegetables to this pot, and I also added a bay leaf in here. This is about two cups of diced potatoes and we just diced them pretty pretty small. At this point I'm just going to add salt to taste. Um, now my, when my husband made the chicken stock he didn't really add a lot of salt so I definitely want to salt that pretty well. I'm going to add some pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of crushed red chili flakes because I just like a little bit of heat. That's just like one fourth teaspoon. Bring this to a boil um, and once it's at a boil we will show you the next step. Okay so it's at a rolling boil so at this point I'm going to lower the heat down to low and cover it. And I'm just going to let it go for about 15 minutes or until the potatoes get soft. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and prep my Swiss chard and my other vegetables. So I'll see you back. Okay, so let me show you guys the next step that we're going to do here. So this is really gorgeous rainbow chard that my mom grew in her garden. Um, I just separated the stems, which are really great to eat from the leaves and I diced the stems into like a half inch half inch pieces and this made about two cups and then I just kind of roughly um, diced you know into strips like this <clears throat> the, the uh, chard and that's about four cups um, and you know these are all rough me measurements of course so now my next step after the 15 minutes of letting the potatoes onions and carrots cook I'm gonna add the stems right now along with two cans of cannellini beans and I'm also going to add my turkey meatballs at that time as well so you will see that okay so I went ahead and just brought it back to 
a rolling boil because it's going to go back down once the turkey meatballs go in. So this is two cans of cannellini beans. And these are the two cups of the rainbow charred stems. And of course you could use escarole for this. Um, you can use spinach would be really, really nice. Um, and you could use regular Swiss chard as well. Okay, and now I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to my hands and I'm just going to roll these meatballs into small little balls and put them in there. So I just put a little olive oil on my hands. And I think little little sized turkey meatballs are kind of nice for this soup. All right. They're probably like, um, I would say about like one inch around. You're going to drop them in and then you're going to kind of just let it be for probably about three minutes before you really want to give this a stir because you don't want to break them apart. Okay. So it's definitely safe to kind of stir it a little bit. I like to skim some of the foam. Um, I don't know. I think because they did that a lot in Asia. And it just seems like a good thing to do. It's really nice. Okay. And another thing I like to do is I like to take some potatoes and beans, whatever goodness we got going on. And I don't have like a specific measurement for this. I just do it. And a little bit of the liquid and I put it in the magic bullet and make it creamy and then I add it back in. And there's still plenty of like whole beans and whole pieces of veg, but I just like to do that to add some creaminess some creaminess to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the next step. Okay. So the soup has probably been cooking for about 25 minutes in total. So now at this point, I just went ahead and blended some of that bean mix, pureed it. I'm going to add it back to the pot. I'm also adding just a handful of chopped parsley. I'm going to go ahead and add the rainbow chard and that's going to melt down. And once you give this a mix, I would also adjust the seasoning at this point. <clears throat> Check for salt and pepper, anything that you want to add. You just want all your veg to be cooked through to your liking really. And of course the meatballs to be cooked through as well. So I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Delicious. Oh. Okay. Mine is good with salt. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just, I want this to simmer. I want the flavors to combine. So I'm going to let it simmer probably with the, um, the lid off, uh, probably for about like maybe 15 minutes. And then I will show you how to fish it off. Okay. So I let the soup cook for about 15 or 20 more minutes and I think it is definitely done. It looks great. Um, so the last thing that I like to do. I'm just going to squirt a little drop of lemon juice or some kind of vinegar. I just think that it balances everything really well and it kind of adds a little bit of brightness. A little fresh parsley, grated cheese, serve it with some nice crusty bread and you are set to go. Enjoy.